Hey guys, so last time we designed an album cover for one of Blackbone's recent single titled Like I Spice. And today we are going to be designing a cover art for a single recently released by Queen Maddie featuring Binks titled Uli. Now let's get right into it. I decided to crop out some of the images I will need for the cover art. Once I was done, I placed them in my background that I've already made and started placing them properly. Then I added a layer max to the Binks image to try and blend the car to the background better. I also flipped the Queen Maddy image horizontally and placed it well. Then I added the TBS image I cropped earlier to the front of the Queen Maddie's image and placed it well. Now let's add some roses. I then added vibrance and levels to try and make some of the roses look more uniform with the rest. You can pause the video to see the settings I used. Now let's place more flowers around. I then decided to make the background darker so that the other images could come out better. Afterwards, I added the actual cover art for the song and merged it to an image of a burnt paper so it looks like it's burning away. Let's add some doves and place them around. I then added a piece of rose on one of the doves above. Let's now cut out their names from the cutout letters. and then place it on our main image. We are now going to place a drop shadow on the burnt album cover. You can pause the video to copy the settings. Let's go back and cut out the title of the song from the cutout letter and arrange it. We are now going to add a sign. Then put a layer max on it and blend it into the clouds more. Let's now type a down county on the sign inspired from the real 
have uncovered. For our text, we are going to be using Babylon 27. Just pause the video to see the rest of the settings. I then added vibrance and levels. You can also pause the video so you can see the settings. Afterwards, I added outer glow and drop shadow to the first image. I then pasted the same settings on the Bix image too, but I changed the color of the outer glow. I then decided to duplicate the Bix image and paste the settings on the duplicated one and put the fill at 0% and then match it with a new layer. So I can add the layer marks to the outer glow I put to reduce it a bit on some sides. Then I set the opacity to 80%. I then pasted the outer glow and drop shadow settings I used for the Queen Maddie image on the artist and song title cutout, but I changed the opacity of the outer glow to 20%. Finally, I added the vibrance layer to the entire layers. Set the vibrance at plus 30, saturation plus 10. Then I reduced the opacity of the vibrance layer to 60%. And we are done. Here's the final result, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also share this video to someone who might need it as well. Please also follow me on my socials, which will be available in the description below, as well as the link to the tutorial materials. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.